Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Software Engineer K here, and today we have a lot of interesting news to go through. So, we know that the Future Tech Live event with VV that has been cancelled a lot of people are asking why a lot of people are concerned and many were frustrated as well um, the Ecomi official telegram group was kind of a bit of a war zone for a while um, but things have started to calm down so what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be addressing um, possibly why that happened um, we do have an AMA that's going to be featured after this video so we should be able to get more answers if Dan is able to come on board and just kind of like share with us uh, what's happened but in terms of the good news, um, we do have, you know, three different drops coming up. The first two start tomorrow. We also have the uh, Jaws poster confirmed as well. Um, David, you updated on his Instagram today that Jaws will also um, be featured as part of this drop. Initially, he had shown it, but apparently it wasn't supposed to be, but now it is. Um, so without further ado, we'll go straight into it now. VV they posted this uh, update so they said dear VV fam we are saddened to announce that VV presents Future Tech Live will no longer be featured at Comic Con this year. Sometimes things don't work out for various reasons this is one of those times and we want to be open about it. Comic Con is one of the many events we have planned to showcase VV to the world so don't fret VV fam we're only at the beginning road bumps happen however the show will of course go on. Our con exclusives will continue throughout the weekend. And um, the Future Tech Live, the Metaverse that they prepared that experience, it is still going to be available on vv.me um, on Friday. So that is tomorrow. So we'll still get to explore everything that's happening. So a couple of points to address there. Now, firstly, yes, Comic-Con was supposed to be this big event, um, Future Tech Live, um, if we just have a look. So they previously... Um, they had an outreach of 750,000 people um, last year. Now, that is a lot of people. That's pretty much double what Vivi's user base is. So, yes, a lot of people would have most likely come onto Vivi, but now that's not going to happen. So people, you know, as a result, hey, you know, all these mass users aren't coming onto Vivi. It's going to take longer to get people on board and, you know, buy and use the app, etc. So they've started, you know, being con well, concerned um, but on the positive side you know those who do use the app um, they've kind of just seen it as an opportunity you know less competition for the drops um, Omi's price has obviously been affected negatively but for those like myself um, who always say dollar cost average don't dump everything in at one price point you know it's another opportunity to buy and I did buy some more Omi again so I'm pretty happy with that so you know, Future Tech Live, most likely what I've seen, and this is just from looking on, you know, their website, if we kind of like have a look at, you know, where it says your events, um, it shows like the panelists. And if we have a look into here, if you click these links, it takes you to the Wix site. So, you know, they're, they're, they've obviously not designed this very well. Um, and if you click on the Twitter, it takes you to the Wix Twitter. Um, so, you know, that's just, that's just one thing. Um, but, what I saw is, you know, the, well, um, Brock also shared this. Um, he's the one who kind of raised awareness of this is maybe there was something wrong with Future Tech Live. Uh, maybe, you know, something happened structurally that they couldn't deliver. But what we do know is a few days ago, well, this article was actually posted on July the 7th. But Marvel Studios, Warner Brothers, DC, um, you know, they all pulled out of Comic-Con. And that was partly maybe because they, well, it's suggested here that they didn't want to do an online event. Um, but also they have their own events coming up. Now, we know that Vivi, they were most likely going to have a some something big for Comic-Con. And Marvel was already announced. They've already got DC. So it was expected for them to do something in that region. However, because Marvel and DC have both pulled out, it makes sense for them to not release things on behalf of Marvel or DC if they have both pulled out. So as a result, I would probably infer that it's probably related to this. So that, that, that raises the question. Okay, this article was posted on the 7th of July. Why have people waited until now to learn about this? So, you know, it could be maybe they were 
advised they could go ahead with it but last minute you know changes means they can't because at the end of the day licensors have to final say but again this is all just speculation maybe it might not be related to marvel or dc maybe it might be related to something else uh, maybe future tech live is what got removed from san diego comic-con and because vv was being you know partnered through future tech live again they automatically by default could not go through that avenue so you know, there are multiple reasons, but we will find out ideally later on today. Um, I did kind of discuss with Reese as well what could have been possible reasons. So at present, we can't like, give a conclusive answer. But after, you know, there have been a bit more conversations with Dan, uh, Dan Crovers and the uh, rest of the team, they should have a proper statement out. Um, but obviously do tune into the AMA. Maybe they'll have something, you know, as early as then for, you know, just to kind of give something to people to use um but what is interesting is yes dc and marvel have pulled out but they are going to be kind of doing their own events so dc fandom i wasn't aware of this this is actually in october so that is actually about less than three months away so maybe uh, vv will showcase there and it only makes sense because they said that DC was one of the biggest sponsors of San Diego Comic-Con back at the start. But if DC has pulled out, then, you know, maybe that kind of sponsorship through Future Tech Live, um, you know, maybe that was affected as well. Who knows? But Fandom, I think this will be a pretty cool one. And remember, next month, we also have the Licensing Expo, which David, you will be at. Um, Vivi hasn't actually advertised that at all from what I've seen. So um, do check that out. I've got a video on that um, that I did a while back on how you can kind of like get involved with that. So what's interesting is, yes, the metaverse experience and, you know, that is kind of, I imagine, going to be a little bit of a teaser to the VVS that is still going to be available tomorrow. So you have to go to vv.me to access that. So um, we know that they have started updating their website. They've started to um, reform it a bit, which is good. Um, so we can see here they have they've got some information on VVverse. So maybe um, tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure what time. I imagine later because, or actually maybe earlier. Maybe it'll be through New Zealand time because it is Friday for them right now. But we'll just have to see. Um, it's pretty cool. They've started updating this with the latest drop. So I think that's pretty nice. Um, but again, we'll just have to tune back and see what's happening. Um, now, if we have a look. Um, at the price performance of Omi for today and we can just kind of see exactly what effect you know this kind of uh, FUD has on the market um, now if we just zoom in we are on the hourly chart so we can see here that we were trading about 0 0.322 um, 0.325 around that region and this red candle wicked all the way back down to 0.26 around about 0.26 so we lost over 10 percent of our valuation but uh, well that, at that wick that's like 20 percent in that one hourly candle now obviously we did rebound straight away because you know we'll just look at that insane volume on that one hourly candle um but we have pretty much come close back to recovering um and i believe the recovery will continue um because a lot of people are on board of the project now like this is just proven that they are buying when the price dips and they're holding as well so this was actually a pretty good experiment because this news was you know very strongly negative and to be honest if we have a look we've only just come back to the price that we were at about two days ago um it's not actually that bad so I believe after this minor setback, once we get the drops and the burn going, um, actually this is probably better for the burns because now the price is lower and we will burn more Omi. So, you know, I guess it did kind of work out. Um, I do believe we will continue on this very slight uptrend and yeah, I'm personally looking forward to the drops, um, less competition because there's less people now. I can accumulate more Omi because the price has come down. You know, for us who believe in a project long term, like this is actually probably one of the best things that could happen. So I am, you know, not not annoyed at all. Um, I know that there's going to be more opportunities to kind of see what this is. Well, I mean, we are still going to see what's going to happen. The only let's, let's setback was, you know, all of these Comic-Con attendees, they aren't going to be exposed to VV, which is fine. There will be another Comic-Con coming in October anyway, and that should be a live in-person one. So I'm pretty sure VV is going to leverage that. So that's only like three months away. So, you know, well, I think it's November, actually, three, four months, whatever. Um, so I'm not fussed, but yeah. That's pretty much everything I want to go through with you guys. There is an AMA coming up and that will probably be within the um, 
hour or so after this film after this video is posted um so do stay tuned for that um but yeah thanks so much for watching please do like and subscribe to support the content and i'll see you guys in the next video see ya